very well. My name is Andrew Ogboro. I think we've done very well in the last four years by the numbers. We are the world poorest. We have 13 million out of school. There is poverty. There is hunger. Our universities are on strike. Now, I am tailoring it along the three items in which the campaigns were held. Corruption, security, and the economy. We've taken corruption, and I understand how we are fighting that corruption, because we've just been told the former Babuchi um, Lawal has been fired, but still he's part of the campaign, so I understand corruption. On security, I've also heard now that until we get more money, we will be where we are. So now I also understand security. So please, I also want to understand the economy so I can go home and tell myself whether to come out and vote or not. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and all of that, and where we are today, just so that Mr. Oboru can vote. Mr. Oboru, I, let, 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 let me take the question on Nigeria being the poorest. Now, if you look at the MBS figures, that's the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics figures, as of 2012, Nigeria had 112 million people in extreme poverty. 2012. If you look at the figures today, going by those same figures, they say about 86 million, but higher than India. Now, let me explain, and let me, let me put this in perspective. From 2010 to 2014, Nigeria earned the highest ever from oil revenues. In four years, Nigeria earned 383 billion. Yet, poverty figures went from about 82 million to 112 million in 2012. And the numbers continued. That's the reason why we had a poverty problem. Unfortunately, with the resources we had, poverty was not addressed. Poverty doesn't disappear overnight. When people are poor, they remain poor unless the government does something about it. Nothing was done despite the highest revenues in our history. In three years of our own government, three years, 94 billion is what we made from oil revenues. Compare that to 383 billion. Oil at some point was 110 to 114, and we had poverty figures of 112. Now, what did we do from the point of view of the economy to alleviate poverty? We started the largest program for social investment in the history of this country. That's why we have the conditional cash transfers. We're giving the poorest people in our country today 5,000 naira every month, we are only able to give about, we are hoping we will be able to give about a million to start with. But in order to prevent stark poverty and malnutrition, we are doing our homegrown school feeding. We are feeding 9.2 million children every single day in public primary schools. Aside from that, aside from that the trader money and market money that we are doing, those tra the trader money and market money, these are loans to the poorest. And let me give you an example of the trader money. Could Trader money, we're doing... Yes. You know, you talked about the can fact... Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. You talked about uh, the, the 20...